Hey guys, Rich Morris from Stabila. Today we're back at our house build. I want to show you another great tool that partners up well with a plate level. It's our dot laser, our 5PG. What this is designed to do is easily plumb up tall walls. When you get walls above 12 feet, these are a great tool. The other thing these guys could do is establish elevations and benchmarks. When you want to get a control line or transfer a control line, transferring plumb points down or up. The other thing this laser allows you to do is give you a short range square. I just want to show you the nice feature. It has a built-in framing base. What this allows you to do is set directly over a plate. You just bump the laser and go. As I turn this on, what it's going to do, it's going to generate a dot right overhead plumbing up the tall wall. As you can see, it's splitting the edge of the plate up above. What's unique about this laser as well, once you shut it off, the pendulum lock secures the pendulum. But the way the lenses rotate in the housing, so when I drop it down in my pouches, those lenses are protected against nails and all that, screws, fasteners, stuff like that. Another way you could plumb up a wall or establish a vertical alignment is simply measuring off a surface. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a mark I'm going to mark four inches off of this wall. I'm going to set my framing base right to the, that line that I've just established, right at the front of the base. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to bump the front of this wall. What I'm looking for is I should be seeing four inches. What this does allows you to plumb up a wall, a vertical application. So if I want to establish another control mark, what I could do is I could take my speed square and I could bump it right up against the face of this plate and bump my square right to it. I'm going to bump the laser right to my speed square. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my speed square and I'm going to pull it to this edge and we should technically be splitting that dot right there. Hey guys, what I want to show you is another application you could use your dot laser for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to establish a horizontal benchmark across the outside of the building. If the situation is small range, horizontal control line, you could go ahead and use this dot laser instead of a rotator if you didn't have one. Just another application of this multi-use tool. As you can see, I've got this set up on our elevator tripod and we have this machine base. What this machine base does is allow the laser to turn with precision and not losing any elevation. It's on a ball bearing base and it could turn very precisely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to establish across the front of here. I got to establish that these two window elevations are the same. I'm verifying when we're going to run our sill for our masonry. I want to make sure that they're in line. This way there's no course changes in our brickwork. Look how visible this dot laser is. In bright sunlight conditions, you can see that dot is nice and bright. Now I'm going to pick up the other side of the window. This just confirms that our elevations are the same coming across. So now we're not going to have any issues or detailed issues with the courses of brick and our top sill. This is just one of those great applications for another use for your dot laser. Get the most out of it. The other thing we're going to show you next is how you could do a square with it. Check short range layout. Next thing I'm going to show you is how to lay out a simple square using your point laser. It's a great way to verify are you square just to come back and double check somebody before you get started or to establish your first square. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the point laser directly over this corner, shining the plumb dot straight down. As I track my laser down this snap line, I actually got my speed square set up at the other end and I'm gonna turn the, my laser and split the dot on the speed square. As I line it right up at the edge of my speed square, I'm gonna split the dot right to the edge and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and pick up my 90 degree layout. I'm just going to verify that we are square. I've established a long wall. Now we'll just confirm. We'll split the dot. We'll just make sure that we're splitting that line and we're good to go. Net transfers right over so we know we've established a square. Now that we know we're square, we could get busy running those bottom plates.